All right, today's September 3rd. Let's take a look at the numbers for the Plano, Texas 75075 real estate market for the past month in August and uh, see where we stand. Hey, it's me, Gerald, an active real estate agent and investor, and I'm all about helping others with what I've learned and continue to learn since 2007. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is come over here, hit date again, just make sure it is Thursday, September 3rd, 2020, here in Plano, Texas. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go with an MLS, uh, log in and see the activity for the last seven days. Again, I'll just make sure we are in the Plano, Texas 75075 for single family homes. Got that highlighted, 75075, and I'll hit save. What's this gonna show us is the activity for the last seven days here in 75075. The two numbers I like to look at here are they're sold, which means that 10 have sold in the last seven days. This could be updated, could be a few more coming in, but uh, for right now, this is 10. And the new listings that have come on the market is 12 right here. You can pause the video here if you wanna look at the rest of these numbers. Uh, that's relative to the last seven days. Okay, so we're gonna to go to dfwlocalhomes.com, come to this website here. Come over here in the more section and move myself out of the way. Come over here in the more section and 75075 on Plano. You land on this page, this video kind of covers the whole page. I think around the 12 minute mark, it starts covering the charts. But here are the charts that are updated. This is for August 2020, the last dot. If you hold your mouse over it, you'll get these numbers. As you can see, the median sales price has dropped a bit, but not much, but from 337,500 to 335. Average sales price actually went up a little bit. And if you want to know the difference between average and median, I got another link up there to describe that. The price per square foot went up a little bit. It's still up on the rise as well as here on the average price per square foot still up on the rise. This is a number to pay attention to right here. Median days on the market is really still low. I mean, it's from went from nine to 10, so that's still real short. It basically means if you put your house on the market and price it right, about 10 days and it should be under contract. Average days on the market went up just a little bit, but that takes in consideration all those those properties that are people holding on a long time at, at a certain price. Months of inventory, as you can see, it went up just a little bit from 1.3 months to 1.4 months, not much. So the inventory is still rather tight. Inventory of homes, but Pay attention to this number too. We went from 56 new listings last month to 46 new listings this month. So there's a slowdown of inventory in, in the market. And that usually happens in, in the fall going in towards the winter. But the demand is still up, so it's a great time to sell still. Those sales that went down just a bit, not much, but 49 to 47. In the last section, we got the map of the 75075 uh, area in Plano. All right, I'll leave a link to this page as well. This is 75075 active market right now, right now here in Plano. It shows the features as the most popular, most expensive, and least expensive. It gives you the information on this zip code here. You've got a total of 126 listings. This is, takes and consider everything, which includes condos and multifamily. You have 11 new listings and 37 reduced properties. On this side here, it compares the zip code stats to the county stats. It gives you some more market data here. And if you do know your actual subdivision, if it's listed here, you can go in there and get even more detailed, or you can broaden it up over here to Plano, Texas. And for those of you looking to sell a house, you want more information, come up here to more. Come down here where it says sell on a house in Texas. Bring you this page here. And this page here is loaded with information on the process of selling a house. So feel free to look around and hopefully you get what you need. If not, just reach out to me and I'll help you out in any way possible. Or you can also come up here to the top of this page or hit the YouTube link. You'll land on this page here and just take a look around the, the videos and hopefully you can find what you need. If not, shoot me a message. Again, I'll be happy to help you out. And don't forget to hit that little subscribe button right there. And give us a thumbs up where you're at. Thanks and uh, have a blessed day.